There are three main types of spatial patterns in human settlement, clustered, scattered, and linear. Understanding these patterns can help us to understand the forces that shape the way that people live and their impacts on the environment. Pattern number one is clustered settlement. Clustered settlement refers to the concentration of people in a small area, often in the form of cities or towns. Clustered settlement patterns are common in areas with abundant resources or economic opportunities and can lead to the development of complex and diverse communities. However, clustered settlement can also put pressure on resources and infrastructure and can contribute to environmental problems such as air and water pollution. Japan is one of the most densely populated countries in the world. A fun fact about the population density in Japan is that the city of Tokyo has a population density of over 6,000 people per square kilometer, which is equivalent to more than 15 times the population density of New York City. This means that the city of Tokyo is so densely populated that if you were to take all of the people living in the city and spread them out evenly over the land, each person would have less than three square meters of space to themselves. Additionally, the Tokyo metropolitan area, which includes the cities of Tokyo, Yokohama, and Saitama, is the most populous metropolitan area in the world, with a population of over 37 million people. This is more than the entire population of Canada. Pattern number two is scattered settlement. Scattered settlement refers to a more dispersed pattern of human settlement, where people live in small groups or individually rather than in concentrated clusters. Scattered settlement patterns are often found in areas with limited resources or challenging environmental conditions and can present challenges in terms of access to services and opportunities. Canada is a very large country with a relatively small population, which leads to some parts of the country being very sparsely populated. One fun fact about the population density in Canada is that the average population density of the country is just four people per square kilometer, which is one of the lowest in the world. This makes Canada one of the most sparsely populated countries in the world, with vast expanses of wilderness and very few people. Pattern number three is linear settlement. Linear settlement refers to a pattern of settlement that follows a linear feature, such as a river, a highway, or a coastline. Linear settlement patterns can be found in a variety of contexts and can be shaped by factors such as transportation networks, economic opportunities, and natural resources. An example of a country with a linear settlement pattern is the United States in particular, the states along the Mississippi River and the Great Lakes. Due to the transportation and trade opportunities provided by these waterways, many settlements in the United States have developed along their shores, forming a linear pattern. This is particularly true in the states of Illinois, Missouri, and Minnesota, where the Mississippi River and the Great Lakes have played a vital role in the economic development of the region, and many towns and cities have grown up along their shores. These are the three main types of spatial patterns in human settlement on a global scale, clustered, scattered, and linear. Understanding these patterns can help us to understand the forces that shape the way that people live and the impacts on the environment. Now here's a challenge for you. You'll be conducting a settlement pattern scavenger hunt. Your task is to use the internet, specifically Google Earth or Google Maps, to find examples of clustered, scattered, and linear settlement patterns in different parts of the world. For each pattern, you'll have to find one example from a developed country and one from a developing country. Once you have found the examples, you'll need to take screenshots and make a short slideshow presentation. In your presentation, you'll have to explain the location of your examples and how you know each one is either clustered, scattered, or linear. Google Earth is one tool that you can use in order to find settlement patterns in different regions. Using its satellite view, you can zoom in on an area and view the layout of buildings and structures. This can help you identify different settlement patterns, such as clustered, scattered, and linear. For example, if you see a compact and dense arrangement of buildings and structures, it is likely that the area has a clustered settlement pattern. Good luck.